பசங்கள இருக்கீங்க நல்லா இருக்கும் தாத்தா எல்லாம் என்ன படிக்கலாம்னு இருக்கீங்க தெளிவாக்கிறேன் வருது <laughs> அதை <laughs> That means when VI equal to 0, what will happen? If you get input, therefore, what will be the voltage across R2? That is called voltage across base. So, VB equal to VCC divided by R1 plus R2 into R2. That is, R2, R1, R2 across VCC. What is the voltage across R2? That is called potential divider rule. If when VI is equal to 0, with the biasing voltage, then we will have a biasing voltage. So, with the biasing voltage, what will be the base current? Upon the VB is applied across IBRB plus VBE. VB is applied across IBRB plus VBE. On the basis line, IB is equal to VB minus VBE divided by RB. In the equation, we will take the equation. Next, IC is equal to the common emitter amplifier. Current gain is beta. So, IC is equal to collector current equal to beta times IB. Input current then beta times will come. Next. beta is a current gate and transistor is on for transistor is on vce equal to that is collector emitter voltage equal to vcc minus icrc vcc in output voltage na icrc drop ho gaya mean so these three equations so you must be familiar with ib familiar with ic and vce so with the three equations we are going to analyze how the transistor is working as a 180 degree phase shift mode of angle tell you paakala i am going to give a numerical example for this for numerical example pathina vcc equal to 10 volt vbe vbe ingirad silicon transistor ku 0.7 germanium ku 0.3 beta current gate transistor ku current gate 10 anu example eduthirukken rc collector resistance equal to 100 ohms sorry 1000 ohms rb equal to 10000 ohms r on equal to 4.3 ohms 4.3 kilo ohms r2 equal to 5.7 kilo ohms we will know what will be the bb in the voltage ena irukku nu paakrom vcc divided by r1 plus r2 into r2 what is the value of vcc now you know the 10 divided by r1 plus r2 equal to 4.3 k plus 5.7 k into 5.7 k all ohms kilo ohms la prachana ga you will get the value of 5.7 voltage so this 5.7 voltage is applied to the base now what will be the base current you know the base current equation vb minus vbe divided by rb so vb is equal to 5.7 minus vb is equal to 0.7 so divided by rb is equal to 10000 you will get 5 into 10 power minus 4 that is equal to 5 into 10 power minus 6 you will get 
500 microamps in solana microamps in solana now ic is equal to beta times ib so what will be the beta beta is equal to 10 into 5 into 10 power minus 4 you will get 5 into 10 power minus 3 ampere so that is equal to 5 milliamps now this is this is equal to you know the equation vcc minus icrc this is minus icrc now vc equal to so vcc equal to 10 minus ic value you know that 5 into 10 power minus 3 into 1000 so you will get 10 minus 5 that is equal to 5 volt in the collector VCE. Now this base current in the absence of signal, signal because of the biasing network, the IV that is called zero signal base current, this is zero signal collector current, this is zero signal collector emitter voltage that is called ICQ and VCEQ. Now these two values are called operating point that is 5 volt and 5 milliampere. This is called operating point. At the end of the operating point, if you input signal, you can see the output of the phase shift. Vm equal to plus 2, Vm equal to minus 2. If you have a sign input, you can input. If you have input, you can see Vi. Coupling capacitor which allows the AC DC a block panno. In addition to this, because of the potential divider, biasing circuit nala or 5.7 volt already here kri. Prima that is called 5.7 volt. That is VBQ. In the 5.7 nala or current kri. 500 microns. Because of that is called DC current. Ita nala or collector current. That is operating point. ICQ. Ita nala or voltage. 5. So this is called operating point. Now, this sinusoidal circular is superimposed on this 5.7 you will get 5.7 plus 2 7.7 5.7 minus 2 3.7 now what is the base current because of the input is 5.7 so 5.7 minus VBE divided by RB now this is also the current is 700 microns 710 power minus 6 IC is equal to beta times IB so 10 times beta under the 10 select for echo there will be 7 into 10 power minus 3 that will be 7 milliamps now VCE that is output between the collector and emitter VCC minus ICRC 10 minus 7 into 10 power minus 3 thousand you will get a 3 volt if you look at this the 2 volt is super imposed on 5.7 7.7 700 microamps amplified by 10 times 7 milliamps then VCE is equal to 3 volt 5 volt and then 3 volt type. So, negative will come to both. So, this one point. Now, you go to the next part. For negative cycle, you will see negative cycle is 3.7 volt. Now, so 5.7 minus 2, you will get 5.7 minus 2, this becomes 3.7. So, now 3.7 minus 0.7 divided by, you will get 300 mil. My plans. Now the collector current becomes so this is become 300 my plans. Now the collector current from 3 milliamps. Now this is equal to this is minus ICRC. Again you will get 7 volt. Now you can able to understand that one minus 2 volt 5 minus 5.7 minus 2 3.7 300 my plans 3 milliamps. The output is increasing to 7. Therefore, the positive cycle, positive cycle, finally the output becomes negative cycle. So, here it is a negative cycle becomes positive cycle. So, this is output which is available between the collector and emitter. Now, what will be the output B0 after the capacitor? For the ordinary pole, the capacitor blocks the DC. And in the example, you must be familiar with the concept. You know the capacitive reactants x is equal to capacitive reactants x is equal to 1 by 2 pi fc so frequency is equal to 0 for dc 1 by 0 that is equal to infinite therefore the capacitor will act as an open circuit for dc which does not allow the dc 
இந்த இடத்துல இருக்கிற ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் த்ரீ அந்த பக்கம் அலோவ் பண்ணாது தேர்ஃபோர் இங்க பாருங்க செவன் பாயிண்ட் திஸ் பிகம்ஸ் இந்த ஃபைவ் செவன் மைனஸ் ஃபைவ் யூ வில் கெட் டூ புரியுதுங்களா த்ரீ மைனஸ் ஃபைவ் யூ வில் கெட் மைனஸ் டூ ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கா இந்த டிசி அலோவ் பண்ணாதனால யூ வில் கெட் மைனஸ் டூ போர்ட் அண்ட் பிளஸ் டூ போர்ட் இப்ப நீங்க தெளிவா தெரியும் ஹியர் இட் இஸ் அ பாசிட்டிவ் சைக்கிள் இஸ் பிகம்ஸ் நெகட்டிவ் சைக்கிள் நெகட்டிவ் சைக்கிள் பிகம்ஸ் பாசிட்டிவ் சைக்கிள் In this way, the transistor is producing a 180 degree phase shift. This is the third point. Common emitter mode produces a 180 degree phase shift. First one, then gain is equal to beta times IB. Input current equation, output current equation, then VCE. This parameter, you must be familiar to solve the MC2. This is the one that you can say. Sir, 2 volt is equal to 2 volt. 2 volt is equal to 2 volt. ஒரு <laughs> So, in the mari, you can apply it. MC2 is a convenient thing. In the mari, in today's videos, you can subscribe, share, and meet the world. You can see 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 the world. You